Hello my friends, today I received good news from Skylum people and they sent me an email and said this. At the end of the next week we will release an update to Luminar Neo which will include the clone and stamp tool. So for those of you that have been waiting for this tool, it is coming at the end of next week. Now let's get to today's uh, mini tutorial. I will show you how to change a white color of any of your props that you take photos with into any color you want. For this example, I changed the color of the vase into the color of the background just for, you know, playing around. But many times we find ourselves using props that don't really fit into our image and we want to change the color and changing white into a color it's a little bit more tricky than you think. So I will show you how to do that. The example I will be using is this image over here. Now I'm going to show you a little bit of behind the scene how I took this image. If you look over here, this is my uh, hard light that is shooting this projecting this light pattern over here. And then I have another light over here. I think the, this one you can see it better, yes. And this uh, hard light has a 5% grid, so very b narrow beam of light. It's just lighting the flower because the flower was really dark and it was not standing up from the background. So this is my composition with my camera and this is the image I was taking. Now let's go back to the original image, which was this one. So as you can see, there was the beam of light and then this light was lit by that side light that I had with the grid. So how do we change the color of this vase? Well, it's not so easy. If you had a color image, like for this, for example, I already changed the color on this one. So I can just go into the color and then you can just shift the hue of, you know, your color to whatever you want and alter it and make any color out of it. But when you have white, that doesn't work so well. For example, back to our image, if I go into edit, by the way, these are um, raw images. As you can see, I had no you know, edits to it. It's just straight from the camera. So if I go in this one and go into hue shift, I can change to shift the hue, but the white will stay the same because there is no color information onto the white. So how do we change this white into color? Well, when I took the images, I also took this plain background image. So to add color to my image, what I will do is I have to go into edit, go into my layers, click on the plus and load that uh, blank background image as a layer. I'll increase the opacity at 100% and then in order to apply it to that white, I will change the blending mode from normal to multiply. Now that we applied it, we applied it to the whole image. So we need to go into masking, choose a brush and only paint inside of our um, vase. I suggest you reduce the softness of the brush to around 30, maybe even 20. And make sure you zoom in tightly so you can, you know, better paint your selection. I'm making my brush bigger with the left uh, and right bracket keys, you can make it bigger and smaller. And now we are painting inside the vase. First, I like to get the bulk of it and then I'll go around for the edges. Maybe we'll go to something like this first. And then we'll make our brush smaller. Maybe I'll increase the softness just because the vase is quite out of focus. So it's pretty blurry. So I want to match my uh, mask to the same kind of level of blurriness. And then try to be careful and go around the edges. If you go too much, click X on your keyboard to toggle between erase and paint. And it's just a game of going back and forth until you get the result you want. Click X again probably should make the brush smaller for this. The better selection you'll make, the more natural is going to look. But for right now, I'll just do a quick example. Um, I'll have to, I'll have to admit to you doing masking until Luminar Neo gives me anxiety. We do not have the tools that we need for such jobs, but hopefully soon that will happen. But for now, we just have to work with what we have. And this is the way you would do it. So my selection is not perfect, but let's pretend it's perfect. 
I'm gonna go just a little bit more on these edges. All right, let's pretend our edges are perfect. I will fit it to screen. And now because you have this on a different layer, you can click on that layer and then you can go into develop and you can make it brighter if you need to. You can add more contrast. You can edit this however you want. If you wanna change the color to anything else, you can also go into color and change the hue to whatever you please. I hope this was helpful and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyler Ewing and I'll see you on my next video.